Hi guys, it's me. So today I'm playing in my composition art journal and make sure you don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And this is just a background that I started with just leftover plate. It was very, very watery, um, just acrylic paints um, that I had left over from another project. And I am just going to draw some spiral shapes. I really wanted to make some flowers <laughs> or some roses um, just with black paint. And then I wanted to play with some patterns pastels some soft pastels chalk pastels that I have in my stash I love chalk pastels and it's like one of those supplies that I forgot that I loved using so you'll see that I'm going to do that so I just start out by laying down a base color of just black and add some splatters and then I'm going to go in with my pastels here I was just experimenting I added the white first and I'm just making like little c shapes um, I want these to be very abstract <laughs> um, roses so that's what I'm doing and then I'm pulling out some colors just very intuitively that I want to use so I wanted to use this purple and then I'm adding some water so I'm kind of experimenting with this supplies I think it's so important to play with your supplies and um, see what you can come up with and I love using chalk pastels I forgot especially with gesso and acrylic paint they mix so beautifully so I really hope that you try this technique you do have to put down a little bit of pressure um, these are very cheap <laughs> pastels that I got you know from I think I got from Hobby Lobby there were seriously like a dollar for a whole bunch of them um, so I use them whenever I can <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some more white on top and they layer very very nicely you do have to seal them but you can seal them with hairspray and I'll show you an affixative that I use I'll link that below so you can check that out and then I'm gonna go in with paint because you can layer paint on top of chalk pastel so I just have some white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna layer that up this was a very intuitive process as I said I didn't really know what I was doing or where I was going but I just knew that I wanted some flowers <laughs> and I wanted to use some pastels so I'm just gonna keep adding layers to these flowers and I put the flowers right in the middle of the page because I think I'm going to add a word. Um, so you'll see that too. And then I went in and I remembered that technique that I used to use where I just scribble with the chalk pastels and then add paint, like white paint, or you can do this with gesso. Gesso gives a really good texture. But because it does have pigment in it, it gives you kind of this chalky paint that is so fun to play with. So I just did like two colors of like a mint and a teal, and then I mix in the white paint and it gives such a beautiful, beautiful um, look and that I absolutely love so you just take it and I'm just roughly painting around my flowers I, you probably could go inside of the flowers too and just create um, just little areas but I wasn't really worried about that I was just really enjoying this process so I'm just gonna do that I'll just keep working and then I'm gonna go in with the blue because I remember the blue um, that I started out with and that has been lost so I'm just gonna get another pastel and add that and I'm just making like little C shapes or half moon shapes nothing fancy I love building roses they're an easy flower to um, to experiment with and then I'm going to use a black pastel to kind of just put in my leaves but I don't like the way that that looks so you'll see I'm going to paint them with black acrylic paint but I start out by sticking them in and then I kind of rough them up a little bit. And now that I look at it, it doesn't look bad. It has a really beautiful grungy look. So maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that, but I know for next time. And then I'm going to add some black marks because I love the contrast of that black with the smoky minty color in the background. Sorry about the camera there. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some black acrylic paint. I bought this paint a while ago and I don't know if I left the top on or what happened but it has this big gunk actually in half of the bottle I don't think it's something that I did <laughs> um, so that I got from Hobby Lobby so I'll have to massage them and check them a little bit better and I'm just painting in the shapes of leaves and adding some splatters because I love splatters <laughs> so I just get that brush really really wet and I'm going to let this dry and then I cut out some letters from a stash and I am going to glue those down. So I'm just using my glue stick here 
that pesty glue stick I'm going to keep in the frame. I'm so sorry. So it's probably going to drive you crazy. But um, yes, I for I really got lost in the process of this page. So I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm sorry. But I just cut out uplift um, a word. And I asked on Instagram what was a word that touched you, just a single word that had significance to you. And someone said uplift. And I absolutely love this word. I've been thinking about it. Um, it's so fun to just use a single word in an art journal spread, um, especially with letters that you cut out yourself. So you'll see that I'll say uplift. So fun. And I just love the brown against those beautiful flowers and I'm going to go in with the black and just enhance my leaves a little bit um, I did not wait for this to dry very well so my paint my brush is skipping a little bit so you'll see that I'm just going to kind of play around and um, see if I can get over that by working around so I'm just kind of skipping around and you see yeah the glue stick that I should have moved but I totally didn't <laughs> Because I was totally into the process and I should have took time to do that, but I didn't. And I'm just going to draw some veins in my leaves. It's skipping a little bit. So I'm just trying to not go over wet paint. <laughs> Please wait for your paint to dry. Do not be a crazy person like me. And then I'm going to go into some of these flowers and I'm going to scribble in them. Um, the pen doesn't really work over the pastel. Um, so you do have to so that's why I added the paint because it does go over the paint very well But I just add some squiggly little lines nothing too fancy and then I decided that The that I was gonna wait for this to dry <laughs> I decided to use my paint pen. So these are my Posca paint pens and I am just going to go around this shape It's like a minty green color, which is so pretty and I'm just making very abstract little scribbles really in my roses so it's so fun so you have the paint and you have the beautiful chalk pastel and then you have the marker so it, it just adds a lot of visual texture and when you see it up close it's really cool and then I'm going to go in with my black pen and just outline those words I could have left it as it was but I really like my words to pop when I do this kind of spread and I'm re-gluing down <laughs> some of that brown paper um, with my glue stick and I'm just going to go in and just doodle basically or make a doodly line and I switch pins this is just a cheap permanent pen from um, I think it's from Walmart it's their store brand and they had them on sale so I bought a pack of them they also have a green and a red too so I'm just going to outline those letters and that L does not want to stay down so you'll see that I in the pictures that I have at the end it's gonna I have to re-glue it down but it works out great so I'm just gonna add some lines doodle around and that's really the end of this page I'll have pictures for you at the end I hope that you enjoy this video I like to just slap down paint and then go back and um, see where I can take it so this was very inspired and I got to use chalk pastels again and I'm just filling in um, some of those um, open shapes with my white pen just because I like the way that that looks with the craft paper so really fun project I very much enjoyed it I hope that you did too please tell me your favorite comment your favorite flowers in the comments below <laughs> I would love to hear what what flower maybe I'll be inspired to create next time I love flowers I love botanicals they're so much fun to use and if you do it abstractly they're not so intimidating so i hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye my wonderful creatives